All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as you can see, Bandai's prepared another one of those player surveys for us where we answer some questions and they give us some free stones. And obviously, I always could use more free stones, so of course, we gotta do it. So let's uh, jump right in here and see what kind of questions they have for us this time. Okay, so first things first, what is your gender? Male. How old are you? Uh, 20, I'm 25. That, that took way too long, man. I'm 25, turning 26 soon. Keep that in mind. Birthday coming up. If you guys want to send me some nice presents, start uh, planning now. Okay, so I'm 25. And how often do you play Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle? I've been playing before the crossover campaign. Picked it up when the crossover campaign began. Started playing for the first time after. Obviously, started before. It's been about uh four years at this point i think that's a long ass time to be playing one mobile game anyways next so that's three questions so far uh question four is was there enough content for the super dragon ball heroes crossover special campaign so here's the thing compared to other crossover campaigns we've had in the past this one was pretty good i mean it's at least average if not a little bit above average but at the same time, I think we could always use more content in this game. So no matter what they do with the celebration, I'm pretty much always gonna say not nearly enough because I want more events, I want easy A's, I want different modes, all that stuff. So unless you guys are one of those people that just enjoy watching the world burn, then uh, go with not nearly enough, all right? Number five, which collaboration events do you think were good during the Super Dragon Ball Hero crossover. Okay, so uh, this one was, I don't even remember what this event was. Transcendent Fusion of the Unknown Fighters. Oh, it's the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito Dokkan event, right? Uh, yeah, that was good. I mean, I would be down for more you know, Dokkan events for collaboration characters and stuff like that, right? So we'll definitely go with that. Uh, this was, I believe, the new story event. This was the new heroes themed uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history style stage, right? So yeah, these events were all good. We just need more of them, right? Okay, number six. Please tell us why you think these events were good. Um, okay, here we go. They gave us something to do with our units and also dragon stones. There we go. I think that was a good answer. And also dragon stones, period. All right. Okay. There we go. Answer. Uh, number seven, which collaboration events do you think weren't so good? I mean, honestly, look, like if I had to choose one that I wasn't a huge fan of, I mean, I guess it was the story event mainly because there weren't enough stages. There were only two stages, I believe. So only four stones for completing the event, right? I mean, not including missions. So, I mean... I'm not gonna say it was bad, I just wish it was a little bit longer, I just wish there was more to it, right? But, I mean, for this answer, I'm just gonna go with none in particular. Uh, obviously, no reason in particular as well for number eight. Did you perform any summons in the crossover summon? Yeah, a lot more than I thought I would. I think I spent like 1,200 stones? Between 12 to 1,500. I was planning to do 500, so obviously, they got me. But, I mean, props to them for creating really cool characters with really solid animations and great kits, good stats, all that stuff. So, I mean, I can't say I really regret it. So, there we go. Uh, how many more questions do we have here? Uh, okay, number 10. For those who answered yes for question number 10... Wait, what? This is question number 10. I'm confused. I think they mean 9, right? The question about if we did summons. Okay. Uh, why did you perform? Why did you decide to perform a summon? There was a character I wanted. There was a character I liked. Yes. The character stats and skills are appealing. Yes. Wait. There should be there should be the option to select multiple. I always give it a try when a new character is released. Yes. Yes. Yes to all three. So like, which one do I choose? Um. All right. I guess we'll go with the most important one. Right. The top priority, which typically is um, the actual character, if I'm being honest, right? Super Saiyan 4 Vegito looked awesome. Toa looked awesome. The Super Saiyan 4s in general were really dope. So 
that's gonna be my answer for that one. Number 11, ooh, okay. What are you looking forward to in future Dragon Ball Heroes crossover special campaigns? All right, LR collaboration characters for sure. Extreme Z Awakening of collaboration characters, absolutely. A lot of the older ones definitely need easy A's. Um, events to recruit characters, yes. Uh, events to get exclusive skill orbs, uh, of course, sure, why not? Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash crossover version, yes. Explosive Chain Battle crossover version, absolutely. Super Battle Road crossover version, yes. And summons that feature released collaboration characters uh, by release year, category summons, etc. Okay, this one I'm not as big of a fan of because I don't think it's really necessary, you know, because with the new banners that come out every single year, it has the new units as well as all the older Heroes collab units, right? So. I don't think we need a banner with like just the older units, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess it would be good for, you know, newer players, right, who missed out on a lot of the older characters, and if they featured more of the older units on these banners, then they would have a better chance of getting these older units. I guess it's fine, it's just I hope that the existence of these banners, if they do decide to go with them, you know, don't take away from the number of like new units we get every year or new events, right? Uh, from there, number 12, have you watched Dokkan Now Volume 3? Yes, absolutely, we did a live stream for it. A lot of fun as always, so uh, definitely a big fan of Dokkan Now's. I watched it the day it was released, yes. Okay, next. That's 12 questions so far. Man, they're asking a lot of questions for only 5 stones. I don't think it's a great trade-off, but once again, it's still free stones. I still gotta do it. Number 13, for those who answered, I watched it in question number 13. It, they, they seem kind of confused. They seem kind of confused because this is question 13. The last one was question 12, right? Yeah. All right, anyways, um, were you satisfied? Yeah, of course. Nothing wrong with it. I love the host, by the way. His name's Sho, right? Great guy. Bring him back. And also um, the other guy too. What was his name? Nasu P or something like that? Nasup? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it was the guy that broke all those tiles during that... Um, anniversary stream i think or was it worldwide celebration no it was during the 300 million download celebration stream so bring that guy back okay number 14 would you like dokkan now to be continued yes of course yo anybody that says no i will hunt you down i love those things 15 which characters would you like to see in dokkan battle in the future Ooh, characters that have not appeared before obviously obviously new rarities uh I'm a little bit on the fence about that. Um, I think that we have too many LRs for sure, but I don't know if I want a higher rarity at this point that's even harder to get than LR, right? So, I mean, we've talked about this before. I made a video about it. Um, it might be time for a new rarity, but I'm, I'm not sure how they would handle it. I'm a little bit worried about that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to choose that one for now. And uh, addition of characters whose card image has multiple characters. Oh, like dual characters, characters we can exchange, etc. Um, they're fine. I wouldn't mind more of them, especially like uh, another LR Androids or LR Android 18 and Krillin. But uh, characters that have not appeared before is definitely a top, top priority at this point. For those who answered characters that have not appeared before, in question number 17, which characters you'd like to see most? Uh, oh, okay. This one I think is pretty freaking obvious. Uh, Garlic. Garlic's Garlic Jr. And how about Gokul as one of the next collaboration characters. If you guys don't know who that is, it's a fusion between Goku and Hercule. It's basically Hercule with Goku's body in Goku's gi, but with Hercule's afro it's pretty freaking hilarious so i definitely want to see him and last but not least um how about buff vegito uh boo absorbed i mean can you call it boo absorbed like boo's in his body right yeah why not they'll get the point okay so those are our answers to this question. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think or what you guys put for that uh, section. Okay, which characters do you guys want to see the most? I mean, I guess you kind of could have taken the question as like just forms of 
characters that are already in the game that we should still get, right? Like, Bye Guys Goku, for example, like an LR Bye Guys Goku should definitely be a thing, so that would have been a really good answer as well. Alright, ID 46665065. In the past, I've tried to hide it, but it doesn't really matter. But unfortunately, I won't be able to add anybody because, as you guys know, there's only 100 friend slots and they're all filled at the moment. I don't know why they couldn't just give us like 200 or even 500, like, would that be so much harder for them to code or something like that? I don't really know, but if I manage to make some space, I'll let you guys know, all right? So I think that is the last question. Um, yeah, that's, that's the entire survey. 17 questions, five stones, took us about 15 minutes, I think, but I was providing some commentary along the way, so it probably shouldn't take you guys that long overall. So there we go, register, and we are good to go. Super Dragon Ball Heroes crossover special campaign player survey. Thank you very much for your cooperation. You answer our questionnaire. Thank you for the stones. Okay, so we're done with that, and it does say at the bottom here that the rewards will be distributed within 48 hours after the event period has ended and the event period is ending on the 15th so basically we shouldn't expect the stones I guess until um, the 17th or something like that don't freak out if you don't get your stones immediately that's how it's supposed to be and uh, we're all in the same boat you just got to be a little bit patient okay so there you go guys that is the Dragon Ball Heroes crossover special campaign for global I heard the JP one might be a little bit different possibly, but uh, I haven't seen it. I can't read Japanese, so I can't confirm or deny, but that is the global survey. If you guys want those five free stones, then make sure to get on it as soon as possible. And that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>